All right, Boris Monkeys, we are back, and this week we are continuing the Bombshell Babes line from Bombshell Miniatures and with this young lady, who according to the website, her name is Elizabeth Beckford, and she is an assassin. That little dagger there. And uh, her outfit's a little race here because she's got that leg exposed, but again, she would not be out of place in... A Wild West skirmish game or Malifaux or she could even probably pass for a Barnabody in uh, Carnival so uh, she'll be painted up with kind of a similar palette to Kadira from last week and then she'll it's got a lot of uh, she's got some purples and some darker colors on her as befitting an assassin but uh, I think she's gonna come out looking really nice and I'm looking forward to getting started on her so let me go ahead and turn this off and get started. Alright, see you soon. Alright, I'm back and I made some progress on our girl here. As you can see, the skin's pretty well done. Um, the hair's done. Her gloves and boot I did with... Um, I based them in wraith bone and then painted them with um, Black Templar mixed with a little bit of Nulm oil. To thin it down just a hair and uh, I think it looks pretty good I've got the Mephiston red out because I'm gonna paint the the sole of her shoe there in Mephiston red I thought it, I thought it was a heel but there's no heel there um, but I'm gonna make it look like a uh, like an early Louboutin anyway just paint it bright red give it a little spot color and uh, yeah this is looking pretty good there I noticed after I shade washed the skin that she's got a little bit of crack showing there. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so yeah, she's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how she's coming out. Um, her mask there is going to be gold with the uh, Magus purple feather and then her dress is going to be Magus purple. This this part here is going to be Shyish purple and this part is going to be uh, Griff Charger gray. And then I'm probably going to need to go around the belt and this pouch here with uh, snake bite leather. And her uh, top there is going to be, what is her top going to be? Her top's going to be Magus Purple as well. So Magus Purple seems to be the, uh, I'm probably going to do Magus Purple with uh, a little bit of Shyash Purple in it just to darken it down just a little bit. Uh, I'm not wild about how light the Magus Purple is. But, uh, I don't know, it may look okay over the uh, mid part there, because that's pretty pretty dark anyway. I may touch that up with just a little bit of uh, gray sear, just to cover up where I've gotten the flesh tone on there. But yeah, she's coming along pretty nicely. I think she's looking pretty good so far. And, uh, yeah. So I will, I'm going to take a little break here and let those finish drying, and then I'll uh, come back and see you in a bit. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, I've made some progress on our girl here, so I thought I'd do a quick update. Um, as you can see, I've got the purples painted on there, and I've got the boots and gloves painted. i got the heel done on that one, the sole done on it. Um, I decided on the sole to go with the Vallejo Game Color Scarlet Red. So it's a little darker red, as opposed to the bright red. I know Louboutins are usually bright red, but I figured since this wasn't actually a heel, I would do it a little darker. I also decided against the Griff Charger Gray for the um, overskirt here, for the this part here, and uh, also for the trim on the midskirt. Um, I, instead, I went with the new paint that I got a couple days ago called... I want to make sure I don't butcher this so. Bear with me a second. Uh, what did I do with that? I literally just had it. There it is. Uh, Akelian Green is the new stuff here. There we go. Akelian Green. And it's really kind of a dark, as you can see, it's kind of a dark turquoise, almost dark turquoise blue. Uh, it really came out looking blue on the test page, but after it dries, you can see it gets that gets that nice 
deep turquoise green kind of thing going there. And also painted the leather on her purse. I like that color on the overskirt so much that I went ahead and did it for the as the trim for the uh, overskirt too. So I, I thought that was spiffy. So really all I got left to do on this girl is the metallics. Um, her dagger, dagger hilt, the buckles on her gloves, her necklace, uh, her mask, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a little break and then when we come back we'll do the metallics. And then she's almost done. Uh, she's got a couple buckles on the boot, I think. But yeah. Oh, I dry brushed the uh, over underskirt too to get it to stand out a little bit. I used a little bit of uh, luscious lilac from Citadel and just did a very light dry brush, just enough to lighten it up from the uh, shyish purple that I used on the mid skirt. And that was because mostly the Magus purple, I did two drops of Magus purple and one drop of Shyesh purple to just darken it down a little bit and make it a little darker but it ended up making it a lot darker um, Shyesh purple is really a powerful purple contrast paint and the Magus purple is not so it, it got overwhelmed really fast um, also did Magus purple as you can see on the feather and dry brush that a little bit just to bring out that texture of the feather somewhat so that looks really nice and once I get the mask painted the mask and that little uh, bead holding the feather on there is going to be gold so that's going to look really nice on there uh, the dagger of course is going to have a gold hilt and uh, per my usual uh, basilica and gray blade with a necron compound dry brush so she's coming along really nice I really like how she looks so uh, like I said, I'm going to take a break, and then we'll come back and do the metallics. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I've done the golds, and I've done the uh, dry brushing on the steel there, and done her little buckles on her boots and gloves, or her boot and gloves. And she's looking pretty spiffy. I'm really liking how she turned out. Even got the little belly chain on her. She's got just peeking up above the belt there in a couple of places. So she's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and pause here and do her basing. So I've got that left to do. And uh, that's going to be done the same as the uh, Carnival figures because I figured she could fit in with Carnival. So the bricks here are going to be um, the silicon gray and then the base band will be uh, purple metallic. And I'm going to base it with the Heavy Violet from Vallejo Game Color, and then layer it with uh, Scale Color 75's uh, Ch -ch 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 Amethyst Alchemy. Yeah, she is looking pretty spiff. So I will see you soon. Bye. And there she is, Brush Monkeys. Our finished uh, Elizabeth Beckford Assassin from the Bombshell miniatures bombshell babes line it's all done I'm pretty happy with how she came out she's looking pretty good so next week we're gonna get into um, one of the two free ones I got with this promotion of buy four get one get two free and uh, should be a fun one to do because I got a lot of research uh, pictures for that one so join us next week and I will s see you then In the meantime thanks for watching bye Hey Brush Monkeys Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here if you like what you see click like down below um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. Both of those help me with my YouTube numbers and help support me doing and what, what I do best. Um, speaking of which, uh, if you want to support me more directly, you can visit my Patreon site um, and go on my Instagram page to see uh, all the miniatures that I paint on this site and how to get your hands on one of your own if you want one. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. You can check both of those to see when new videos get posted. And visit my merch store at uh, storefrontier.com slash flymonkeystudios. Uh, 
in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.